today I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom using one of these clover pom-pom makers. Now they're really good pom-pom makers because um, it allows especially younger children um, to have a go at making pom-poms without lots of fiddly, um, you know, kind of winding up. <coughs> now we like, we have all these sizes. Our, I, my favourite size is this one. Um, <coughs> I think it makes a really good pom-pom size, not too big, not too small. And um, it means you uh, also doesn't take too long. Right, so let's get started. Um, so you get your pom-pom, you open it up. In fact, when you get it in the shops, you might have it in two pieces. So you put them together. Make sure that uh, these sides are lined up, not like that, lined up. And this is lined up. And then you take your, your wool, hold it in place with your thumb, and then you start wrapping round like this. So, and then you wrap all the way around. Now make sure you don't get anything here. It's got to go wrap all the way around and nothing over here, okay? So literally just all the way around like this. Okay, so you can see this is getting quite full. Now note, there's no strings over either of these two plastic bits, just going all around the center. And this is almost sort of at a level. So then you can just fold it down. Actually bring your yarn to the end like this. And then you can just pop this over and carry on on this side. And again, you go all the way around. Remember not to get it here. Very, very important. And keep filling it up. Okay, so now the second side's really full. Now we're going to just fold it down and snip. Now we like to make these as full as possible. Obviously you can do a little bit less if that's easier for you. Um, but I think we'd like to have them as fluffy as possible. So now you take your little scissors. It's good to have some really sharp scissors. So these are some craft scissors I've got, but to be honest, we've also got some nail scissors that are nice and sharp. And I use those especially for crafting. So that works really well as well. So we go, cut it all the way around, okay? So you can see there's no blue lines left. And I'm cutting this little bit from the corner. Yeah, nothing in the middle, otherwise it won't stay. You turn it around and you cut the same. Make sure your pom-pom maker remains shut. You don't want to open it accidentally. Okay, so all clean, no threads visible. Now you take your um, string and you push it um, like so, up, turn it round and you'd make a little loop, like so, and you pull it tight like that. I like to do two of those just in case, so I'm going to do it again and pull it okay and then you can cut now you have something that looks a bit like that you can keep these on if you want for hanging or you know if you can incorporate in your craft we you can trim it afterwards so now you lift this up lift this up and the same on this side lift and lift and now comes the magic bit you pull them apart oh, and there you have your very own pom-pom. Wasn't that easy? So these pom-pom makers are really good. If you look over here, there is a way of making pom-poms um, using a fork, which is also quite a fun way. But, but the clover pom-pom maker, really, really easy to use. And I'll put some links down below, down there, so you can see where you can get these. Love them. Brilliant. Anyway, nice to see you. Give me the thumbs up. And we'd love to see you here on Redhead Art again soon. Bye.